This massive warehouse in Brackenfell will not be bare for long. Dr. Patrick Soon Shong says within this year, the first of millions of vaccines will be produced here from scratch. It will be the first facility of its kind on the continent. President Cyril Ramaphosa says the global COVID-19 pandemic has revealed huge disparities within and between countries. This in accessing quality health care, medicines, diagnostics and vaccines. He says it was a long, hard battle to secure vaccines for the continent and this must never happen again. Through the African Union and the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention in collaboration with a number of institutions across the continent and with the support of many international partners, we have mounted a formidable response to COVID-19 in Africa. Unlike our response to other pandemics, our response to COVID-19 has been quite phenomenal. As the Africa Union champion of COVID-19, South Africa supports vaccine manufacturing in Africa to ensure that we become self-sufficient as a continent, that we shared those colonial chains that have always bound us. We shared them and become self-reliant. And today, it's a demonstration of how we are moving forward to being self-reliant as a continent. But he says the COVID pandemic has also revealed the depth of scientific knowledge, expertise and capacity on the continent. Mobilizing and pooling resources have proved effective and through collaborations and partnerships such as this, Africa need no longer be on the back foot. Our goal is to cover the entire vaccine production value chain by upgrading existing capacity and bringing new capacity on board. Emerging African manufacturers need technology partners to develop their skills and to assist the technology transfer that is so necessary in this technology-driven industry. We shall scale up and diversify our production capabilities with the proper support and collaboration. We have much of the capability and the expertise and experience needed to manufacture vaccines. <clears throat> that is why we welcome partnership with entities like Access to Advanced Health Institute, the Chen Sung Xiong Family Foundation, and Networks to mobilize investment to transfer technology and know-how and to develop the skills. American-based Sun Xiong says, while first-generation vaccines aimed at providing antibodies to fight COVID-19 infections were critical, the second generation of vaccines, which will be among those produced here, will be made to attack and kill the virus, stopping the spread. Vaccinology for 40 years have been based on antibodies. And when you have a flu vaccine that you take every year because it changes, but in the face of a pandemic, you can't do that. So we spent 10, 15 years trying to show that while antibodies are important, T cells are what kills. And we came from the position of cancer. But we also then took that same technology and had to put it into vaccines. So today uh, we just presented data for our pancreatic cancer using the same vaccine technology, where we've now over doubled the survival rate that I've just made public this morning of metastatic pancreatic cancer. That technology is what we've adopted into vaccinology. And that's been really the difficult thing for people to really grasp at the regulatory level, at the science level, at the implementation level. Having said that, uh, we started this in the United States, showed the T cells, but it became very clear that the opportunity to move this across the globe, especially coming home, 
And then when I saw the need, the inequities, I call this vaccine apartheid that was happening uh, here in this uh, continent. And with the encouragement with President Ramaphosa, I said, this is what we needed to do. And we've moved our focus to South Africa and Africa. The coalition will also aim to establish innovative manufacturing techniques for new treatments of life-threatening diseases, including cancer, TB and HIV-AIDS. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.